Hi, I'm Lee Teschler with EE World and Design World. I'm here with Bob Card from On Semiconductor. And Bob has kind of an interesting demo behind us that involves charging uh, things, but it's kind of a charging mechanism that you're not likely to see in real life. So, uh, Bob, tell us a little bit about what we've got set up here. Uh, sure. Um, normally, you charge to the USB connector, and we're doing a little bit of a different approach. We're charging outside the USB connector. We're able to, uh, there's a few advantages to doing that. I'd like to sort of go through that with you. Basically, you have a Mopi box here with a large battery. We're going to be charging it with this travel adapter. And schematically up above in this graphic user interface, you can see we have a travel adapter attached to basically this puck. And inside here is a puck that reduces the voltage from the input of the voltage coming from the TA is going to be 3 amps, 15 volts. He's going to put out 8 amps, 4.6 volts. And that's going to attach to this contact here, which is what is drawn here. We have a special switch in here that has that will close when it when it senses the attach. It has voltage and current regulation on the output, voltage and current regulation on the input, and that helps monitor the BVAD voltage. So when the voltage reaches 4.35 volts, this guy will go into regulation. This guy will sense that and back off on the current and prevent over voltage in the battery and tapering the current correctly. So Sahib probably helped me uh, talk about the TA and then we'll go back to me and I'll show you how it all wraps up. Okay. Sahib, tell us a little bit about the travel adapter Hi. here we yeah. have here. That's good. So we have here, uh, we try to do the water battery thing. So we start, the first piece is the AC-DC converter. So we have uh, here uh, developed a new 45 watt AC-DC uh, travel adapter. So this is a uh, Using the new uh, controller based on the GAN, a GAN fit, and it's a, a new topology, active clamp topology. Uh, we, this is 45 watt. Uh, we were able to get uh, a power density higher than 20 watt per cubic inch, and efficiency higher than 92.5%. Uh, uh, this is uh, our new control for active clamp. It, uh, we have uh, the new control methodology that changes the mode to optimize the efficiency at different load and different output voltage. So this specific TA is, uh, can uh, change the output DC voltage to, compatible, to be compatible with different protocols uh, like a USB BD. So the output voltage can be changing from 3.6 all the way to 20. For this specific one, we go up to 15 volt, 3 amps. Default start with 5 volt, and then the phone communicates asking for different voltages. Thermal managed all the component is less than 90 degrees C for this specific design. So he just so, uh, to make sure our readers are clear, what's the on semiconductor technology okay, in that? Yeah, uh, our technology there is the controller, and it's active clamp, we call it modified controller, active clamp modified controller. So the, the new thing in that controller is to change the operation mode or frequency so to keep the to gain the DVS as well as reduce the circulating losses gotcha. the clamp. This one can go up to 400k switching frequency and we're with the next one we're trying to push it to 600k switching frequency. Okay. And um, you use GAN devices in there. Who's GAN device? Yeah, the GAN devices there we use a two discrete fits uh, from Navitas again. Mm -hmm. Thanks Sahib. Yep. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Yep. Bob, we're back to you, so um, what happens next? Cool, well, uh, just a quick summary. So coming out of the TA, we have 15 volts, 3 amps. It's bucked down to 8 amps, 4.6 volts. We're going to apply it to the contact right here. We apply it, and you'll see the switch closes. The battery starts to increase in voltage. The current's going higher. We have a fuel gauge in here that's monitoring all this, and we're charging in 8 amps, cool. bypassing the USB connector altogether. What's the on semiconductor technology in this? Most of it is this switch here, as well as the uh, buck. So this is a 10 amp DC to DC converter, existing device available now. This also, the Fan 54161, an existing device also available now. And probably the most innovative aspect of this is the travel adapter. Great, well thank you for that, Bob, that's cool. Well, my pleasure, it was nice meeting you. Right.